With me, former FBI agent Nancy Savage. She is the executive director of the Society of Former Special Agents of the FBI. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Greta. All right. You saw James Comey win. When did you last speak to him? Uh, it was a week ago. And then when he was fired on Tuesday, your reaction was one of what? Shock. Um, I think everyone's pretty much devastated, um, especially how it was enacted by the administration. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I mean, you should, if you're going to fire somebody, you bring them into the Oval Office and you have a discussion and do it better. But anyway, that uh, is another. I'm, I don't like that either. Yeah. Um, what's Comey like? I mean, he's just uh, a, a great individual. He's easy to talk to. He has a, you know, fantastic grasp of the issues very, very quickly, even complex issues. Um, he remembers almost everything verbatim. Um, that that's Im very impressive. Um, he's very supportive to the active duty agents, um, and I've seen him in situations where he's talking to our group, which are mainly former agents. But I've seen him when he's talking to all FBI agents on critical investigative matters, and he gets down in the weeds and is very supportive of them. All right. Um, there were reports out of the White House that the morale at the FBI was bad, then uh, suggesting that he, you know, as the leader, that he was responsible for morale. Um, do you have some sort of, you know, feel for what was going on in the FBI before and, and now since his firing? I, I think from all of the uh, my associates who are still active duty, um, they're very, very positive about him as a leader. I think there was some concern because it was a difficult situation that they were put in. Um, you know, as FBI agents are used to very sensitive investigations, but the Hillary Clinton investigation um, was ex especially sensitive because she was a front runner on the Democratic side. And there was a lot of pressure to get that investigation completed, but do it correctly. And um, the country's evenly divided. The FBI is going to call it like they see it. I know uh, my career, I mean, no one tries to force an FBI agent to do something for political reasons. I, I read back then, or at least I think I did, that there were some who thought that Comey was wrong in not pursuing, um, in, in the way that he handled that July 5th press conference. And he sort of bypassed, you know, he bypassed Justice Department. Well, I just think it's important to to bring out the situation where um, essentially AG uh, Loretta Lynch um, came forward and said she she felt very sorry that she had had that meeting on the tarmac with Bill Clinton, and that came out in the press. And because of that, she said she wasn't going to make a recommendation on this, and she sort of informally said, "Hey, the." I'm going to follow the recommendations of the FBI. That put him in a highly unusual situation and put the FBI in an un unusual situation. Normally, you do what, what Jeff Sessions is doing. If, um, it, I mean, in a big organization, like a big prosecutor's office, the decisions are made by the people handling the cases. I mean, to what extent does, does the departure of, of the director of the FBI impact the investigations, more specifically, if there's the one of whatever's going on in, about the uh, Trump campaign? Um, the right now you're talking about yeah. the Russian yeah, yeah. potential, you know, alleged Russian involvement. Um, I don't think that that anything political is going to impact Impacted. those. I really don't. I mean, FBI agents are going to bring the facts out. They're going to write the reports. They're going to pursue, pursue it aggressively, and then they're going to present that over to the Department of Justice. Thank you very much for joining us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.